Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're uh, right outside of Fort Hagen, and uh, we just saw the, the Pridwin passing over. I don't think you can see it anymore. But uh, yeah, that's our objective for today. We're going to be heading towards the Pridwin and join up with the Brotherhood of Steel to kick off that part of the main quest. Look at that. You can actually see it still in the distance there. Still uh, making its way towards the airport, but uh, we're going to go in that general direction, but by a bit of a detour. We need to go back to the Cambridge Police Station to meet up with Paladin Dance. And of course, if you recall, that over there is ArcJet Systems, if I recall correctly. And then over there somewhere is the Cambridge Police Station. So that's generally where we need to go, although the game says I should be going over there, but I don't think... The correct quest is activated. So there we go. Let's listen to the military frequency because Paladin Dance has a message for us. We don't actually get the message here, but it's just Paladin Dance telling everybody from the Brotherhood of Steel to meet him at the Cambridge Police Station. What was this again? Oh yeah, that's the caravan park. I think that place is also filled with ghouls. Yes, there we go. Feral ghoul roamers. I don't think there will be anything of interest over here. Unless there's a few legendaries running around. But I do want to avoid killing any of those. So I was kind of right. Uh, we're going in that general direction. So I'll uh, let you guys know if anything happens along the way. Oh, wow. One of the vertibirds just spawned in here. And oh, there's a super mutant firing a rocket launcher at it. This is interesting. This might actually give us some loot. Because if uh, a few of the Brotherhood of Steel fellas dies, okay, stuff is exploding. I'm just going to let this play out. There's rockets being fired in both directions. And I'm guessing this is going to be Brotherhood of Steel, right? So we have super mutants over there. They don't see me yet, so I'm just going to take a wide berth. And there goes one of the super mutants. They seem to be all normal super mutants. Oh god. Ow! Jesus Christ. Okay, it's gunners instead. No, never mind. I'll definitely leave them to their own devices. There we go. And that's one with a missile launcher even. Don't know why she didn't fire at me with a missile launcher there. Hello. Are those super mutants just hitting the vertibird? I think they are. Oh, gold. They actually managed to kill it. They just hit the vertebrate to Kingdom Kong. Uh, okay. That's not weird in the slightest. Oh. That's a skirmisher, though. Let's just shoot it in the face a few times. No, wait. Just once. Give it a critical. And that should basically almost kill him. There we go. And there's at least one more thing alive here. Don't know what it's going to be. Just going to check the corpses. The Western Water Treatment Plant. There we go. Let's use another critical on this guy. Yeah, bye. We're still in danger. Don't know from what. Don't see more super mutants, but I really, really want to... I really should stop with the diversions. So I'm just going to leave the water treatment plant to its own devices. Don't need to uh, meddle with that any further. So let's just work our way around the water. And I think just over there, the Cambridge Police Station is already there. So uh, good riddance. And passing by the bridge to Beantown Brew, we actually trigger the uh, Far From Home DLC as well, the Far Harbor DLC as well, where we get the radio signal to help out Nick Valentine again. Which is uh, good for later on, but uh, Far Harbor is way too difficult for us right now. We would be dying in an instant over there if we went over there. But uh, with all of that done, with uh, the Beantown Brewery behind us, we're actually getting close to Cambridge over here, the Cambridge Police Station. Yeah. And I just triggered a bunch of mines. That's great. I was kind of confused with the... Uh, there were a bunch of ghoul corpses over here. And, well, I just blew up again. That's par for the course, I suppose. So basically, it looks like I don't have any power armor anymore. I lost both legs and my left arm. So I have only 
Oh, are you freaking serious? Seriously? Can, can I go back to first person mode? There we go. Fuck off. And, well, I should have shut up, shouldn't I? Because now I lost, I lost my other arm as well. Super Mutant's Orders. Oh, what the hell is that? Kill, loot, return. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was um, interesting. Um, I just lost another armor piece. That's fine, I suppose. Because um, right now we're back at the Cambridge Police Station. There we go. Let's. Burn marks. I must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. So there we go. This place has been staffed with a lot more Brotherhood of Steel people. And uh, I think, if I recall correctly, there is supposed to be a power armor station even over here. So if I can get past the scribes, yeah, there we go. There's the power armor station. I'm just going to use this to my advantage. So let's repair everything that's broken with a bit of steel. That's usually all we need. Yeah, just a tiny bit of steel to fix all of that up. I'm even going to... Ooh, I need a circuitry. piece of circuitry for the torso. And just some steel for the helmet as well. But, 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 but. Now we can actually make some upgrades. Because I think we have armor 2. Oh, yeah, I'm actually taking damage now because of uh, um, the fact that I'm over encumbered. I'm going to increase the torso to B. <laughs> To model B, and I think I should probably also be able to put some modifications on anything else. No, I'm lacking the materials, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, that's basically all I can do, but at least the... Uh, okay, the armor is fixed up. Is, is it fixed up? It doesn't look fixed up. I'm even still over encumbered. Wait a second. I think they put the, the power armor pieces in my inventory, right? Yeah, there we go. The power armor pieces are in my inventory. That's why this is why I'm overweight. And I'm gonna die because I take damage when I'm over encumbered. So let's just craft this and equip all of that back in there, exit, and then just get into the power armor before I die. Because I could die from that. I take damage when I'm over encumbered and my legs start to break. There we go. That's a lot better. But with my armor fixed up, I can now enter the Cambridge Police Station and have a little chat with Paladin Dance. He has his uh, his hat back, which is good. Cavalry's arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. Indeed, they did. I'm impressed. That ship. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here. Elder Maxon's here, and that means we're going to war. So it sounds a hell of a lot like we're not going to get any diplomacy between whatever we're going to fight and I'm us. I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. What's the matter? Don't like kicking in the door? Don't worry. You'll fall in line with our tactics sooner or later. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Oh yeah, and this is one of the reasons why we want to go on this ride, because uh, things are going to get interesting. And as you can see, inside of the, the police station, things have also improved, because there are now more beds, things are cleaned up. There's a chemistry station here as well, and I'm going to take the microscope, because microscopes contain valuable resources. Same as uh, desk fans, by the way. Uh, I also forgot the last time we were here that there's a, a quest I can start here. So if I play Operation Winter's End. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now with you. Together, we will knock Eddy Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So, our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunt. So this starts off the quest where we can, uh, it's pretty much an unmarked quest, but we can find more audio dialogues in the, uh, the remaining police stations. 
because they were working towards a way of bagging Eddie Winter, a very, very dangerous here, criminal. But let's follow Dance up the roof now that we've started that little quest um, and check out the vertebrate. There we go. And there's no danger just yet, so I don't really need to make a backup save or anything like that. So let's just hop aboard the vertebrate and get this thing on the road. I mean, there was a little bit of danger. I could get shot uh, even behind this minigun. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. I'm already getting fired upon, which is interesting, but uh, I'm going to try and not fire too much. Because, of course, firing means that people can start firing back if they hadn't noticed us yet. So there we go. The Brotherhood is off to the Institute as well. And since we know that the Institute has kidnapped Sean, that actually aligns perfectly with our needs as well. This is a high-risk area. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. There's another vertebrate thing coming. Um, guys? We're on final approach to guys? The Pridwin should Ooh, we're getting shot at. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Ow. Bells on the flight deck. From, stick from down the there? That's interesting. Oh, look! It's more vertibirds. Hopefully we don't bump into them. Because, uh, but usually vertibirds um, don't actually have hitboxes between one another. And that's Monument Point. Oh, Bunker Hill? What, what's it called? Something like that. It's uh, very nice. Now we have this giant ship that's wedged in between the buildings. All areas that we'll probably explore later on. But uh, over there is the Pridwin and the airport. As you can see, we are in a bit of trouble now, of course. Because doing this, we're actually kind of stranded on this little strip of land. I'll show you later on the map. But this is pretty sectioned off. So you need to go all the way through this uh, port area before you can even reach the airport. And that means that we're kind of limited in our actions for the moment. Since we don't have fast travel. Uh, so we're going to be doing a few Brotherhood missions up next so we can start leveling up our uh, affinity with them so we get another perk that's available to uh, anybody on the brotherhood that has a high enough rank um we definitely are i want to have some nice new power armor and i completely forgot because i upgraded my power armor but i'm pretty sure we get a full set of power armor again now <laughs> and it's better so i wasted a few resources but nothing too extreme there we go, initiating the boarding sequence, attaching ourselves to the Pridwin, and getting lifted up. And now we need some, uh, we're gonna, well, be experiencing some, uh, ooh, okay, dog meat goes off, so I think I can go off as well. Dance. There's Lancer Captain Kells, follow me. I keep forgetting the button. So there's gonna be some exposition, I'll skip through most of it, but uh, basically we're gonna get introduced to uh, our ranking officer. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. And there we go. So, hello, Lancer Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> You don't look much like a soldier to me. Which, uh, I mean, because we we are not. We're just someone who just woke up a few weeks ago. Um, sorry to disappoint. Sorry to disappoint you. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Um, 
No, no further questions. So basically the Brotherhood of Steel are kind of like the military or remnants of it at least. But they kind of devolved into an organization that's hell-bent on destroying anything that isn't strictly human or natural. Because of course they don't have anything against dogs. Hey, dog meat. They don't have anything against dogs or birds or something like that. But anything that's uh, mutated. So super mutants, ghouls, synths especially. So uh, let's go inside and have a little chat with Elder Maxon. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. And on the, beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies. It could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy itself. Ad victorium! And Dogme just barked that Victorian back at him. So yada yada yada, the Institute... Oh, stop yelling! Yada yada yada, the Institute is uh, evil and sins are bad, so... From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. There we go. Thanks, buddy. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. So you can now use the workshop at Boston Airport so we can make our bed and make it a, a, a little settlement here. But uh, yeah, that's Alder Max and he's, he likes grand speaking. Uh, but... Uh, we need to meet everybody aboard. So, since we've been uh, upgraded to, well, promoted to uh, the rank of knight, we got our own power armor, but uh, we're gonna get that in a second. Let's talk to Dance first. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Would you turn to face me, buddy? Yeah, thank you. Uh, he's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I doubt that, since he just called you his most one of his most trusted officers. If I fuck up, I'm just going down for it, and you probably won't, but um, won't let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first, in order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Dog meat. Dog meat, no. Dog meat. Dog meat accidentally went away. And I lost, I lost carrying capacity. Awaiting your command. Um, can, can we, can we Paladin talk? Dance. I'm just gonna, yes. I'm, I'm, um, dismiss. Bye, Paladin dance. Go, dance. You can, you can just stay here. You can stay at the Boston airport. Uh, confirm. Um, dog meat, don't leave me. I think dog meat might have teleported. I'm pretty sure dog meat must have teleported. And I'm guessing he's going back to, I have no idea where he went now. He went to one of my settlements, but I completely missed where he was going. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing this without dog meat again. God damn it! Sorry, sorry, dog meat. Let's go meet everybody. They're all assholes, but here we go. First up, the doctor. Excuse me, Captain Cade. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Let's give him a sarcastic option. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. 
I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. But of course, this isn't relevant for the playthrough, so skip! I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. Yes, we're cleared for duty. You let me know. And Kate is now our doctor, so uh, that's really good. Let's pick up some supplies. And then we have a cat! We needed to meet the cat. Hello, kitty cat. Hello, little kitty cat. But, proctoring oh, Quinlan. Quinlan. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. So, this is the uh, the, the smart guy, the scribe, so, uh, the, or head scribe, Pro Proctor, Proctor, Proctor. They're, they're called Proctors, which is a, a fancy title, but let's give him a sarcastic answer. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? I love this first confusion because right now I am already in power armor, so I'm wondering if he sends people in power armor out to fetch his books. Because that's just an idiotic thing to do. So, hello. So if we find any tactical documents, we can bring them to Proctor Quinlan and we get paid for them, which is just an easy way to make some more money. Then one of the most important persons for us is, of course, Proctor Ingram over here. Crude, I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. Well, that seems to be uh, the general consensus, but uh, I don't really. I mean, I handle myself. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. So, uh, okay. While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. So, uh, getting around well. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. Yes, we There's are. A pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. So, we're going to be switching over to the T-60 now. So, hi. Um, so, I think... Is, is this one our... No, that's stealing. I think this one is ours. Yeah, there we go. There's, and there's a fusion core in there as well. So, might as well just step out. I'll just put mine over here then. Um, step out of mine. There we go. I'm going to take the fusion core with me. Uh, so I'm gonna take the fusion core, there we go, and then I'm just gonna drag myself over here to the other power armor, hopefully I'm gonna get in before it breaks my legs, but there we go. From the T-51 to the T-60 power armor. It was 51, right? Maybe it was 45? Was it 45? It was 45, never mind. So this is our new power armor. Uh, if you look at it from afar, you might not see the difference, but if you put them right next to one another, you can actually see a few differences. Because the T-45 is basically the the version from Fallout 4, and this is the upgraded version. So, there's a few differences in the visor and the, the location of the plating, but uh, otherwise they look pretty similar. Um, but this is the new Louise in a Brotherhood of Steel power armor. Let's upgrade this thing. And of let's course, if you want to upgrade, creation. there's a lot of materials right over here. So let's just grab a bunch of them and see what we can do with all of that. So I'm going to be over encumbered, of course. But uh, if we start working on it, we should be able to do this. I need to get out first. I'm actually going to transfer my junk over here. So that should get rid of uh, our over encumberedness. Although there is a bug that actually gets me over encumbered while I'm working on power armor. But... As you can see, this thing has a lot more health than the 45, and it's already Model B, actually. Interesting. I thought it was going to be... Because for C, I need science. God 
Damn it, okay. So I'm gonna have to work my way towards science. Uh, and otherwise, I don't think I can actually add any of the... Yeah, because I need science for all the molds as well. There we go. I'm actually over encumbered because of uh, me working on this thing, which is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, let's just get out of this station. And I just literally broke my legs doing that. For fuck's sake. Luckily, there's a doctor on board. And I actually don't really want to work on this piece of power armor just yet. Because... It actually, I'm gonna actually be updating this uh, in a minute as well. Can I actually, because I transferred a lot of stuff to this. I'm gonna take that all with me for now. I'm carrying too much right now, but you know what? This probably counts as a settlement. Let's just transfer all the junk towards that. I'm, I might as well just gather a few bits and pieces. Can I actually work on the no? Can't work on the weapons workbench either. And I do want to take a look if I can't upgrade anything. So this actually doesn't count as... God damn it, because I don't even have my resources to work on the workbench here. So if I craft over here, I can actually upgrade the Kellogg's pistol to a hardened receiver, which I am definitely going to do. It has been upgraded rather nicely already, so let's just go with a short scope so I can just zoom in a little bit <laughs> and spend a lot of my resources here. And then I think, can I update? No, I can't update it further because I need science. I am going to put a little scope on the Righteous Authority as well. So a short scope. So let's do that. And no muzzle just yet. And that's basically it for now. So let's get out of here. Because my legs are broken and I need to clamber back to my power armor to uh, just not die. So Kellogg's Pistol now actually does uh, 100 damage base. Which is double the amount the sniper, rifle, the sniper rifle does at the moment. Because of the upgrades we did to it. Uh, so the sniper rifle probably will be uh, less useful than the pistols for now. Because I haven't put anything into... Uh... Does this thing actually use... I think it uses 44 rounds, not 45 rounds. Yeah, 44 rounds. So I need to start gathering those as well. But there's a cryogenic grenade here. Might as well do that. And then we can talk to our final guy, the Proctor Tegan over here. Who manages the uh, inventory. So we can work for him as well. Just gathering supplies for him. Just to uh, convince settlements to hand over supplies to the Brotherhood of Steel. We don't really care about that. So sounds good. So other than that, this supply room is actually not... Well, they're not supplies in the literal sense. We can just grab what we want. Because there's even a Gauss rifle in the back there. And uh, an XO-1 uh, helmet. Which is also really nice. But uh, there we go. Leveled up. Um, but we need to... We need to pay for everything we want to get from him. And I actually bought an upgraded laser rifle from him. So we can actually use those materials to... Those molds to put on the Righteous Authority, if I'm not mistaken. It might reduce my critical shot a little. But I think... So that's the focused boosted capacitor. So that's uh, improved damage but reduced ammo capacity. So that's 8 extra damage. Um... I can't actually make anything else now for some reason. Can I make a standard? Oh, I'm missing plastic. Great. Right. So I dropped in you with the doctor to uh, get rid of my broken legs. Uh, at least I think I got rid of my broken legs. I'm not exactly sure. Did I get rid of my broken legs? Yes, I did. So let's swap that out. We go to a boosted capacity which increases our damage by 10. Uh, we can equip that and then we can actually just leave all of that behind. I can even scrap the focused laser rifle. I get 10 plastic out of that and I'm running out of plastic anyway, so... Good riddance. Okay, and one of the initiates is uh, apparently just sitting in the middle of the hallway. That's perfectly normal in the world of Fallout, I suppose. I'm just doing some more inventory management before we head out. Because I think I might have left some... no, some resources over here. I feel like I did. Yep, there we go. Let's take all of that Lance back. And then we can take a, a night of sleep. And we're ready to head out. So after a full night of sleep, we're well rested. We uh, ate some mud chops. So we're ready to keep going. So let's meet up with Elder Maxon again. Because we need to uh, report to the flight deck. I'm not actually sure if we need to talk to Elder Maxon. But uh, we need to report to the flight deck. Ah, no, of course I know what we need to do. So Vault 88 radio beacon also added. So there's a lot of quests starting now. But we need to talk to uh, Kels again. The Knight Captain. Because he has a little mission for us. 
Or is it? No, it is Elder Maxon. Oh, I'm an idiot. I keep scrambling things. So let's talk to Elder Maxon. yourself with the Prigman's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? We are. Time for action. Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Yes, easy. So we need to head over to that fort, kill all the super mutants, and steal the nukes for the Brotherhood, because that sounds like a good plan, giving this organization nukes. But uh, consider it done. So we're going to drop in using a vertebrate because otherwise we need to go really far ahead. But I'm a bit afraid of how this is going to go because this is survival. I might die. I really might die. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to survive this because we're stuck in the minigun seats for quite some time before we even can do something. So um, is this? Yeah, th this is this is airport fly. So this basically drops us down, so we can swap between the Pridwin and the airport like this. But, if we want to go to Fort Strong, we can actually just um, head to the vertebrate over there to the side. I need to go... Can I go through here? So outside, there's another vertebrate waiting for us to go to Fort Strong. That was a bit overreacting now, wasn't it? We're gonna need to be careful because they're firing at the firing range as well. So, vertibird for us. And let's try this the normal way first. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to do this a little bit differently. But uh, let's try it with the minigun first. I keep hearing the shots landing behind me because for some reason they thought it was a good idea to, well, place the vertibird at the end of the firing range. They're, they're literally firing at us. Stop! Stop firing at us! Um, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? It's really gonna hurt. I'm really scared about this mission. Um, I don't know why she actually fly flies in this direction, because Fort Strong is behind us. Yeah, there we go. So that's the bridge. And Fort Strong is over to the right, but I can't actually fire at it just yet. Oh, and there's Mylark Hunters. Please don't fire at me, Mylark Hunter. Be nice. I'm not gonna fire at the Marlurk Hunters. It's gonna be bad. But, 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 but. Okay, so there's a, a super mutant behemoth that's just right over there. I need to kill this thing first. And if I can, yeah, because it's launching rocks at the uh, oh god. At the vertebrate. I can't hit the rock, so I'm gonna just have to focus on him. Come on, come on, come on. I'm almost I almost have him. No 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 don't throw more rocks, you dick. Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down. Well, tail it back to the prig I'd love to there. kill Oh don't don't fly low. Don't fly low. I actually didn't take that many hits just yet. But, um... I mean... This is not good, is it? She's dropping down. She's making herself a stationary target. I'm just gonna stay in the minigun for now. Or maybe I shouldn't, because I'm taking hits. Ooh, that's a legendary butcher. I should get out. I should get out. Um, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take a Nuka Cola Quantum because that's a legendary super mutant. I'm gonna have to be careful here. I'm gonna also take some more mole rat chunks. My hands are vibrating because of them. Ah, can I can I get out? Can I get out? Thank you, 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 thank you. Run away! Yes, this is what we're going to do. We're going to run away. Because that thing is going to explode otherwise. Where is it? So that's a normal super mutant. So I'm just going to build up a critical against this guy. 
And there we go. So that's two criticals. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And I think, uh, I think they blew up the vertibird, but that doesn't really, doesn't, I don't really care about that. Oh, gold. I'm just gonna have to hide. This is bad, because they're coming for me. So that's a normal super mutant. I think I can probably kill him with just body shots. Let's just do that. There we go. There's two more super mutants around here. Among which is, yeah, that butcher. Um, I think he already mutated, so I'm just gonna use one critical. Two criticals. And another critical. There we go. And now I need to run. Now we need to run, because he's doing damage. Um, I'm gonna grab another quantum. Because quantums actually refill my action points. And I need... Oh, that's not the one I wanna... I mean, yeah, why not? Let's just keep damaging it. I'm healing up with the Nuka-Cola quantum, but I wanna kill the other one. That's the Butcher. I want to kill this guy. Yeah, let's kill this guy with normal shots. If I get lucky, I get another critical, but I don't. So that's... One more. Why did they drop a legendary Butcher here? Because it's not a legendary normal guy. It's a legendary Butcher. So let's just fire a few shots into his torso. And then the final one in the head. So one, two, three, and critical. There we go. I'm almost dead. That was 10% of my health. Oh. <laughs> okay. Health regeneration is doing its work. The power armor definitely did its work. But we survived. Where the hell is the corpse? We get a cloaking leather left arm. So being hit in melee generates a stealth field once per 60 seconds. But how long does that take? It looks to be heavy leather armor as well. And a sledgehammer. And then a marksman overcharged laser rifle. Huh. Is that even better than what we have now? Marksman overcharged. If I inspect that. The overcharged capacitor. I'm going to have to check that later on. Because I don't know what that exactly does. If that's the better alternative for the uh, critical shot damage. Then we're good. We're really good. Okay, so we killed everything. Uh, we even killed ourselves a behemoth. So that's our first super mutant behemoth. <laughs> I love how they just dropped us in with no backup. Just us. And then the vertebrate just naffed off and exploded. Um, hi. So he has a bottle cap. Uh, some death claw meat. Always nice. Uh, for some reason his inventory just changed. Okay, and a combat shotgun. Um, I could actually use that. Could actually use that. I'm gonna grab that as well and take the shotgun shells just to see what we can do with that. How much damage does the combat shotgun do at the moment? 78. That's actually not bad. I'm actually gonna favorite that one and put it up top. So now we have a few guns to work with. I'm actually gonna go with Kellogg's pistol now just for uh, sneak attack damage. And let's head inside of the fort. So we're not out of the woods just yet, because this place is still filled with super mutants. But I can be careful. Because I think most of them are probably going to be on the right. So if I check on the left first, that's fine. Oh, and the door is locked. Might as well loop around to the left then. If the door is locked, they won't be able to open it either way. So sneaking. Getting hungry. Ooh, that one was close. He just whispered that in my ear. That it was getting hungry. So there's one over there. Oh god. Um, um I actually do a lot of damage with this thing. Uh now let's wait, isn't he reacting? He's not reacting to me. And I think there's something in my back as well. Um Oh that doesn't do anything, does it? Oh god! Ow, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, Jesus Christ. 
Hello! I'm just gonna toss grenades in there. There we go. That's at least a few of them gone. I don't think the, the legendary was actually reacting. There we go, some grenades. Oh god, he woke up. He woke up. I need to check my health. There we go. I'm gonna go in here because I think there's no super mutants left in this room. Poisonous combat armor right arm. 25 poison resists. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. And it's good that I now know that Kellogg's pistol is way more powerful than anything else I have in my inventory. Great. There we go. There's another one. Oh, there's another one in the back. And the power armor actually takes all those bullets because uh, low high fire rate weapons are actually really ineffective against power armor. So uh, that's good for us. Not so good for the, the super mutants. They can just fire away at this armor and they're just going to ding off like it's nothing. Okay. That's about seven super mutants out of the way. And I went through most of my food supplies and grenades and my 44 ammo. Which, I mean, it's fine. We survived. We got a few legendaries out of this as well. So, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with this. Staircases are down, but for some reason the elevator still works, which is interesting. Uh, so, let's use the elevator to actually go down, I would think. I think we need to go... I think we're going down. This looks like we're going down. Otherwise, this is giving me the wrong impression. There we go. We went down. Crap, I forgot about this area. This is still filled with super mutants. And we didn't bring Paladin Dance with us. <laughs> um, I'm guessing this is also why this is a bit harder on this difficulty. Uh, because I didn't bring a companion with us. I think there's actually hounds over here. Let's put down two mines. And then I think I still have nine bullets in Kellogg's pistol. If I can sneak attack shot something... I can lure the rest over here. There goes one. The mutant hounds are coming. I'm just gonna have to back off. There he goes. That's one of the dogs at least. I'm still in caution. So they still don't know where we are. I should probably swap over to the grenades again. Oh wow, jeez, oh crap. That shotgun in the face. Jesus Christ, I just uh, jumped a little bit. Um, let's grab some more mole rat chunks. I got this weapon out of his hands there with the shotgun. That's good. Since I can see them now, they're the last few, the last ones over there. I killed one of them. Or no, I killed both of them. And the other one is downstairs. So might as well actually just jump down there. Okay, that was not what I intended, but never mind. What, scared already? Yes. <laughs> Did he just fire a rocket at me? I just lost half my health. Holy crap, that could have ended really badly. I'm just healing up with uh, healing up with my, my remaining food supplies. Yep, that was definitely a missile launcher. That was yeah I. That was almost gone. Okay. And I think Dance just entered the building. I just heard him. So we can actually go into the army ourselves and grab ourselves some Fat Man shells. But since we're not using the Fat Man, we don't really have any use for this. But there's, uh, there they are. All the Fat Man shells are definitely here. We can actually pick up a few of them over here as well. And uh, they're actually dismantled, so they need to be... It's probably a way to avoid people uh, just stocking up on Fat Man shells over here. There's a few of them here, but you can't grab the ones in the uh, green containers. Just as a safety precaution, I would assume. I'm just going to go down because I think there's one more weapons chest down here as a kind of a reward for making it all the way down. Unless it's upstairs, that could also be the case because I don't see it in this room. So, I'm guessing if we make our way back up, he hasn't come and talked to me, but he's uh, he's definitely entered the area. So, uh, Dance. Hello, Dance. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. It almost ended very badly. Absolutely. 
Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. I mean, I've kind of followed the uh, ethos of uh, Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher that, uh, yeah, as long as these guys are sentient, I don't really mind them being around because since they're actually pretty smart and can actually show emotion as well if they're unshackled from the Institute. Super Mutants, on the other hand, are just You're brainless. Uh, yeah, I'm awfully quiet, but makes sense. Okay, sense. sorry, Paladin anyway, Dance. That's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okay, I'm wondering if there's a vertebrate ready to take me back up, because otherwise I have a very long walk ahead of me. So that could have ended really, really badly, but we managed to get out of there in one piece. That was Fort Strong, and it doesn't seem like we have a vertebrate ready to go. Um. Um. Oh, wait, what? Who's that? Is that a... That's someone in power armor. Is that Dance? Dance! I could use your help. Because I don't think I can sleep around here. And we haven't saved since the Pridwin. So I'm really starting to panic. Because I know I saw a few hunters along the... The, you know... The, the, the bridge towards this area. And it's a long way around if we need to go... Go back. Oh god, I need to go back, don't I? Is this dance? That pa paladin? Yeah, this paladin dance, but I'm pretty sure that was the island with the hunters, right? Because we flew over that. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely hunters over there. So I think I'm going to have to find, unless there's a bat in that little shack over there. I want to stay close to Paladin Dance for now. Because I want to, of course, survive and all the help I can get is welcome. Um, does this thing have a bed? Doesn't seem like it. These guys didn't sleep on the job. There's another set of power armor here. T-51. With a fusion core, though. So let me grab that. Thank you very much. Um, but other than that, it seems like we have a bit of a walk ahead of ourselves. That should be... Uh, I should go for the sure thing and just sleep in Fort Strong, because I think there might actually be a bed in the basement. Let's see, but the problem is, this is actually a spawn point for a Myler Queen as well. And if that happens, I'm just completely fucked. Oh, and the brackets are even shuffling. Unless that's for Paladin Dance. Can I get safely back? Because this is a second bridge already, so we only need to skirt around the outside and get back to... To Boston Airport. Oh god, I'm just, I'm gonna risk it. Okay, here we go. If anything pops up, I'm just gonna run back to dance and cry for help. So this is not a problem. I see robots running around, but this is a speedway, which is just a, a very nice addition. Uh, there are raiders over there, so I probably still need to be careful, because this is, this is a sort of uh, speedway where they uh, gamble against racing robots. As you can hear. So, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna go along the beaches. And actually cross like that. Probably shouldn't try this even, but this seems like a pretty straight shot back to Boston Airport. And I'm guessing the water is pretty low. Let's just run through here. Oh god, this is deeper than I anticipated. So I'm taking rads, but it's manageable and I'm gonna get, yeah, up here. So now we start hitting, hiding again. I think we're out of the way of the Mylock Hunters as well. 
And if we need to, we can just sprint back to Boston Airport from this area. Because this is just one more warehouse and now we're back, I think. Yeah, past the warehouse, we're actually back at the Brotherhood encampment. So that's really, really good. Okay, we survived. Uh, I would have been really mad if we lost it, if we died on the way back to the Pridwin. Uh, so I'm just going to board the Pridwin and uh, end it there. So I'm gonna just going to sleep there. So we might as well finish the episode here. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I'm going to take a little break. We completed the first mission for the Brotherhood of Steel. We met everybody over here. We cleared out Fort Strong. And now we can just safely go to bed in the safety of that shiny oh, hi and that shiny uh shiny ship up there so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and when we get back we're going to continue our tour of duty in the uh service of the brotherhood of steel so thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next episode of fallout 4 survival goodbye